Hello Capricorn, how are you? Welcome to my channel Star 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 and welcome to your reading. So Capricorn, this is your reading for the month of May. You can consider this as a mid-month reading. Okay, and this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa and time is fluid. I would appreciate if you would hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below if you find yourself getting resonated with this reading and uh, i would also request you to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever i upload the videos now capricorn as far as this reading on youtube is concerned we'll see what is your energy what is the energy of the person you're thinking about you're dealing with okay we'll also see uh look there is also an extended reading okay the link for the same is in description box and comment section in the extended reading, we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you, what action they will take towards you, what is the likely conclusion between you and this person. I'll also pull out some oracle cards and with the help of oracle cards, we'll see what are the messages from the universe and from the higher powers. So if you're interested in the extended reading, link is in description box and comment section. Okay. All right. Now let me shuffle the cards. I'll lay them down and then we'll discuss the energies. We have Seven of Pentacles for you, Ace of Swords, the Moon, and Queen of Swords. As far as your person, too many cards, too many cards. As far as your person is concerned, Capricorn, as far as your person is concerned, as far as your person is concerned, we have Eight of Wands, then we have Seven of Swords, then we have Six of Cups, and we have the Magician. Number seven is of some importance. You may be seeing a lot of seven, seven, seven. You may be seeing a lot of... Uh, lot of 11 11 you may be seeing a lot of 666 right so you may be dealing with cancer pisces virgo gemini okay if the sign pops up all the better let's not remain fixed on the signs and i am also hearing uh libra okay so seven of pentacles ace of swords moon and queen of swords so capricorn so capricorn we have ace of swords next to seven of pentacles uh ace of swords represents clarity uh sharpness and seven of pentacles sort of looks like choice uh the kind of energy i'm getting from seven of pentacles is 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 you have multiple options and choice making sort of became a difficult uh situation for you if this is what you were going through in the recent past then i i see that uh, clarity is coming your way now choice making was difficult for a couple of reasons either the options that you have at your disposal all those options are really good and they have great potential so choice making was obviously difficult or another reason I see why the choice making was difficult because there was not much clarity regarding what you were trying to seek okay from those options and i see that now you're getting that clarity so choice making is no more difficult for you okay now this choice can be related to romance uh your love life this choice can be related to your 
career, your profession, uh, jobs, some of you are contemplating what should I do, what is it that I really and truly want to do. Capricorn, you are thinking that I have entrepreneur abilities, but I'm also enjoying the current job that I'm doing. Uh, but someday I want to have something of my own. So should I continue doing the job or should I take a leap of faith towards entrepreneurship? Some of you are like you have uh, two to three hobbies on your mind and you're like, which one should I pursue right now? Okay. Some of you want to go back to the school and you're like, uh, in which subject should I major? Uh, some of you, as far as love and romance is concerned, you know that there is more than one person who is interested in you and actually both of them are really good. Okay, so it's it's not easy to decide, especially when it comes to love and romance, which one is good for you. Okay, for some of you, you are finding yourself becoming interested in more than one person and you are trying to understand like you obviously know that you cannot pursue both you obviously know that you need to choose one person okay so decision making is becoming uh, was difficult in the past but now it's no more difficult because you are having the much needed clarity okay i also see the option that you're going to choose or the decision that you're going to take whatever this decision is it is going to be a very important decision it is going to be life changing life altering decision because a lot of growth is involved in this decision the option that you're going to choose okay or if if i if i simply say the decision that you're going to take a lot of growth and a lot of bright future is involved in that uh in the decision that you're going to take for yourself and the choice that you're going to choose for yourself okay so the future is very bright around that choice or around that decision so you are it, it is sort of an indication that you are on the right path and this is your decision is is sort of backed by the universe universe is sort of pushing you to move in that direction universe is sort of can you see this card it is like the hand is coming out of universe it is like universe itself is giving you the much needed clarity and universe is saying choose this option like there is a lot of growth in this okay so Again, again, Capricorn with the moon card, I feel like you don't want any kind of surface level situations now. You are looking out for situations and people where there is a lot of substance. You don't enjoy surface level things. If you are looking out for a person, if you are looking out for a partner, a romantic partner, you want a man or you want a woman. Okay, you don't want someone who is immature. You don't want someone who is casual in their thought process. No. Okay. Uh, if if it is if it is something related to the career, you really really want to feel passionate about that. Okay. You really want to uh, be like, I should be waking up in the morning without the alarm, and you know that is how excited and passionate i should feel for whatever i'm planning to do for myself in the future so you don't i mean and whatever you are trying to achieve if it is career if it is personal growth or if it is anything that you are trying to pursue in your life it's it is it is always it is going to be from a long term perspective okay and you really want to especially if it is career or it is hobby you really want to be an expert in that okay you want to reach to the depth and the core of everything okay so if if you are planning to start a business you want to become a business magnet okay you want to build an empire uh, if you are uh, planning to pursue a hobby you want to become expert in that Okay, uh, if you're like, say, for example, if you are planning to become a musician, okay, you want to make sure that you are so good and so perfect 
not that you want to go ahead and uh, do some performances on the stage or something but you are trying to do things for your own satisfaction that's what i see you're trying to reach the bottom core of your mind and your heart and everything you really want to do things to make yourself happy okay so you are like challenging yourself capricorn in whatever you're doing if you are trying to find a person you're making sure that you're finding the perfect person you're finding the person exactly as per your expectations and your expectations are not uh i feel you don't have simple expectations i mean not simple uh i'm not saying that you have expectations which are which are which are unreasonable no but you really you want a person who will be committed to the connection that you and this person will be developing okay there because you know you have experienced uh multiple relationships and you know that every single relationship will go through ups and downs and your partner should have that determination and willingness to work through those downs especially right so and again again it's like your life is going to be uh, quite busy because you have lot of goals for yourself they will be having lot of goals for themselves in the midst of everything there has to be a strong willingness to work on the connection okay so just because oh no we are not able to provide time for one another okay sh- it should not be a reason for a for a breakup like even if you work really hard even if you guys burn the midnight oil you guys should be making efforts to uh, give time to one another so how to do that it it is it is a thing of management it is a thing of willingness and uh, wanting to work on that so getting tired especially when the relationship is going through a down phase is is should not be an option okay so you want someone who is also mature and who will who will understand where you are coming from who will understand what are your expectations in the relationship and it's not just that you are you are expecting uh of course you will be also equally contributing and you will be making some real and genuine efforts towards relationships to to work on the relationships to contribute towards relationships and that is why you are also you will also be expecting a lot from your partner okay so irrespective of all the odds you know that you will be contributing towards connections and relationships and that's what you are expecting from your partner as well okay so whatever you are craving for in your life right now capricorn i don't think so you are craving for just to pass the time okay you are craving for because you want to build things you want to build an empire for yourself you want to build a very strong love relationship with your partner okay which will be set as an example for deacons uh, for your future generations and for many people in and around you okay and uh, if if it's about personal growth you're trying to build yourself up so there is so much of passion and intensity in whatever you're doing and whatever you want to do and that's the kind of energy i feel that is there during the month of may and because of this energy you're going to inspire so many people around you okay people will be like they will feel charged up looking at you people will feel charged up in the month of may it may get spilled over in the month of june as well this energy may get spilled over in the month of june as well also there is this no nonsense energy because you are so hyperly focused on yourself and your future of course you are going to ward off any kind of negative energy right and negative people negative energies you will instantly realize that the person walking in your direction if they are coming towards you with the right intention or not and if they are not coming with the right intention that person is out of your life at that very at the at that very moment itself so i also feel with the queen of swords there is this no nonsense energy that is going on over here 
okay as far as your person is concerned we have eight of wands we have seven of swords six of cups and the magician so i i believe you're about to meet someone very soon okay but then seven of swords we have eight of wands and we have six of cups and we have seven of swords in between eight of wands and six of cups i feel like someone will try to steal or at least an attempt will be made to steal away what is rightfully yours and and uh it may happen that things are going to happen okay so what i see is you are about to meet someone and that is going to happen very soon you meeting this person will happen very soon and you there is going to be this adrenaline rush and lot of excitement and enthusiasm that you have met someone your partner will also be extremely uh excited and enthusiastic that and enthusiastic that they have found you in the midst of everything probably you will see certain red flags not regarding your person but regarding few other people around you okay there are few people who are always like you may have experienced this capricorn because this is the kind of energy i'm getting from you and probably that is why also i i see this queen of swords over here on no nonsense energy you may have experienced capricorn that there are few people in and around you maybe your near and dear ones or your friends or your work colleagues uh who are always keeping an eye on you i mean they're watching you they're trying to get updates from you because they want what you have okay so they are like oh capricorn is capricorn uh has got a promotion even i want a promotion oh capricorn is having a boyfriend or a girlfriend i want capricorn's boyfriend or a girlfriend you may have seen people have made attempts in the past to snatch away your person from you or or to snatch away what is yours rightfully yours okay you may have experienced such kind of energies in the past and that's what i see like someone will make an attempt they won't be successful to steal away what is yours especially in matters of love this may happen now or this may happen sometime later but i i see this energy S there is a snatcher energy over here someone wants to snatch away what is yours okay and that's why you are also in this no nonsense energy keeping warding off any kind of negative energy in and around you okay and don't forget with the with the magician card universe is trying to tell you like don't forget who you are this energy is also embodied by your person the magician energy you are a magician your person is also a magician it's like don't forget you are a supreme power powerful person you are a supremely powerful soul you and your person you and your partner both of you so such kind of energies energies in the seven of swords snatchers and stealers and liars and cheaters they won't be able to affect you and they should not affect you okay they won't be successful in their attempts okay but the fact that they are making such kind of attempts should not create any kind of impact on you okay sometimes we feel mentally down that oh what is mine should be mine only and if someone is trying to snatch away that from me you feel so mentally and emotionally low that sometimes you a person does not even make attempts to save what is what is his or her rightfully his or her okay so don't feel emotionally low or that is where these people such kind of energies they try to attack you mentally and emotionally to make you weak so that you should not struggle to stop them from their intentions okay they they want less struggle from you and that's why they try and attack mentally and emotionally that should not be the case don't allow uh anything to 
create an impact on you. They making an attempt to steal something away from you should not in any case create any kind of impact on you. Okay. All right. I hope this resonates. Hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below. The link is in the description box and comment section. Okay. Uh, as far as the extended uh, reading is concerned, we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you, what action they will take towards you, what is the likely conclusion between you and this person. All right. Bye-bye then.